Hey everyone, it's me, Shara Couture, and I want, oh, I got stuff all on my dress. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> okay, so I want to talk to you all about the difference between you have your corporate uh, credit, you have your business credit, and you have business funding. Now, I need you all to understand that they are three separate things, okay? The first part, which is corporate credit, that is what you get from an actual corporation. You get credit from this corporation. So let me slow down because y'all know I get excited. So I'm gonna slow down. Um, corporate credit is when you get an account or a card with that corporation. What does that mean? Your net 30 accounts, like um, you get a uh, credit as far as say Quill. Everybody know Quill. You apply for Quill, net 30 account. They give you a certain amount of money to use within a 30 day period that you have to pay within 30, well, you don't have to use all of it in 30 days. Say they give you $1,000. You go in there, you get $200 worth of stuff. If it's a net 30 account, you have 30 days to pay that $200 balance off, okay? If you use $1,000, same thing, 30 days, you have 30 days to pay that $1,000 off. This is like a net 30 account. This is your corporate credit, okay? I want you to understand this is corporate credit. So please don't come over here. Don't come over here. So that's corporate credit same thing like if you have a staples card that you can only use in staples office depot card you can only use an office depot they give you a certain amount of credit to use with their corporation that is corporate credit that's your net 30s and that's what you do in the beginning of building your business okay now we go into business credit business credit is where you see a lot of the words like pgs personal guarantors and stuff thrown around because nine times out of ten unless you are a high value or high income earning business means you're making seven figures a million dollars a half a million dollars and you have a track record of showing what you make then you're going to need a personal guarantor i know a lot of people say oh no pg no this no that understandable they still okay if you put your social security number on the application they are checking your credit that makes you a personal guarantor well that can make you a personal guarantor okay now the thing is with a personal guarantor nothing will be reflected on your credit report unless they're telling you that this is going to be um, reflected on your credit report which is a question you have to ask most of the time it's right there in black and white we're just checking their usual social security number just to check to see how you're paying your personal bills so they know they can extend you this money that you're going to use or borrow from them and if you'll be able to pay it back that's the reason why they put it down. So if it's not reporting on your personal credit, then um, it's not personally guaranteed. Well, most of the time they will do a soft pull, sometimes a hard pull, depending on which company and how much. So that is a business credit. So business credit, nine times out of 10, you have to use your EIN and your social. Just letting you know that, boom. Then you have business funding, which is, which is what everybody want. Business funding means your business is getting this funding on its own. It don't need you. It don't need your social security number. It has its own entity. Uh, it has its own trade lines reporting. It has its own paydex score. If you don't know what a paydex score is, it's basically your business's um, credit score. Okay? So it has all of that by itself, and it could go in and get funding by itself. And most of the times, you're talking about five and six-figure funding with that, but you have to have a track record. So don't think that when you see people saying, hey, I can get your business funded in 60 days, you can get $100,000 in 60 days. Yeah, but it's all like gas cards. It's not like cash. You know what I mean? So you might get like 20000 or 15000 or something like that if your business is having some kind of revenue. I know like with $2,000, if you can show like $2,000 a month, you can probably get ten grand. um and funding in that 90 120 day mark but i don't want you to think that people are out here promoting you're getting um i could get you fifty thousand dollars in business credit in 60 days but yeah because they're going to give you five gas cards for ten thousand dollars that's fifty thousand dollars in funding they're not lying but who is going to use fifty thousand dollars worth of gas some gas cards are visas and mastercards some of them will give you a, a, a limit that you can go in the store convenience store and use it and sometimes like I have one, um, I have a gas card that I could use anywhere because it has, you know, the MasterCard logo or whatever. But I, I made sure because some of them will have that logo. They'll have the visa symbol that have say it's a visa, but it's a visa that you can use in that gas station. I think uh, 7-Eleven is one where you can actually use it, but you can buy like snacks and stuff like that inside the gas station. 
So you can't go like to Macy's and use your uh, 7-Eleven <laughs> gas card with a Visa logo at Macy's and get you some dope shoes. No, it has to be in the gas station, the convenience store, or if they have like a um auto body shop or a oil change type situation, then you can use it for that as well. So I just want to tell y'all the difference between business, I mean, corporate credit, business credit and business funding and i hope that i answered some questions i think i went over everything if i didn't you can always inbox or dm me but that's what i have for you today